Yeah, Meatball, you just pipe down, okay? <laughs> yeah, your parents. Yes. How old are you? I'm seven years old. Is this your mom and dad? No. I'm kidding, yes. Uh, no, no, that's don't the point. Kid. That, you don't, you kid. don't kid. You yeah. don't kid. Then all of a you tell the truth. We're stuck at the border longer because they think we kidnapped you. <laughs> Oh, we're serious, baby. You got to You can't mess around with the joking with Border Patrol. Okay. Border, so let's go through it one more time. Like cops, what is, you what is your name? Kara, what? Uh, What's your name? Crystal. Crystal and what? Where were you born? Oregon. Where are you coming from right now? Where was a, where where did you guys live? Oregon. No, I'm where did dad, you live when I'm you moved dad, when you came here? Everybody. Where are you going now? Where are your parents? Uh, uh, okay. and a That's a bee meatball. That's not your parents. <laughs> yeah, in my belly. Yeah, you're a bee? They're not going to take yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. I'm a Bigfoot. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> but you know what? The fact that he recognizes when he's being funny is really cool. He's like, he knows what it is. Yeah. He's like, no, I'm going to make well, it. My parents are right here. And he's pointing at the beat. You're a Bigfoot? Yeah. So are you going home to the North Woods of Yukon? Yeah. Eating fish on the stream? Yeah. Yeah. Scaring campers? Yeah. Yeah. I'm Mouth Rapunzel. closed. You're Rapunzel. Probably not the name to give the border security guards. <laughs> Yay. Okay, okay. Good, now. You do good. Just Are you recording? I am. So we got the new uh, Edelbrock installed here. Uh, we found the bit we needed for the throttle adjustment. Uh, this one, we've got this connected here to the, uh, this is the electric choke and it's attached to the ignition power on. So that's good. Here we see we rerouted our fuel. I had to cut that U off where we uh, were originally changing the uh, fuel filters on the Rochester. I cut it right before the U. Attach the new fuel hose. That arm's blocking. And put the filter on there. I've uh, got an inline filter instead of the inline filter, the small one that was on the Rochester. Uh, right now I'm going to put on the a spacer here for the car to make sure that we have plenty of clearance because we got this new um, air cleaner assembly and it sits a little bit lower. And so it gets onto the throttle. We don't want a stuck throttle position, stuck throttle while we're driving. That would Because that would be unfortunate. So we bought uh, this Mr. Gasket air cleaner adapter and riser kit. So we're going to lift that, uh, that up a bit so we can get that in. It comes with, uh, in case you need to change the size, like if that's too big and so whatnot, which we're not going to do. We're keeping it the same size, but I just wanted to show you what it came with. So we got a double riser here. I'm going to try putting two on and see where we stand. So now looking here. Are we clearing? We got clearance on that. So since we got clearance on that, I'm going to take it down one. See if we still got good clearance on that. Which we do. You can hear it's not it's not smacking into anything so we're good to go I'm gonna go ahead and put our shiny new Edelbrock air intake air intake oh no no this isn't long enough uh -oh. ah, look at that is there a uh -oh. no it's fine you know what to do yeah okay uh -oh. 
pick up some more of those filters. I've got two more. You've got two more. Now, by bringing that up a little bit, is it going to mess with the... What? With its stability? No. Okay. Just checking. You just need enough to get the the, the wing note yep. on, right? See? She brought that up. get that straight because of my OCD. Mm -hmm. There we go. Or should I have it so I can read it from the driver's seat? Oh my gosh, seriously. <laughs> and we're so clear. Good. good and tight. No wobble. Should be good. I'm going to go ahead and hopefully start it up real quick. Make sure everything does what sure it's supposed to do. Good. Make sure the throttle opens and closes like it's supposed to. Hopefully the batteries aren't dead. Well, I just saw a big pop of something coming out over here. Oh, I didn't see it, so I can't help you. Oh, okay. Well, if you're not worried, right. then I'm not worried. I'm not worried. All right. I really wish I knew what that squealing was. Do we even know which belt it is? Sounds like it's the alternate. Oh, shit. That's hot. Is it? Did we get it too much? Did we get too much gas on it and eat the belt? I don't believe so. How does it feel? Well, it's hot, it so. It's good. That was not the belt. That was the... Uh, the uh, uh, pulley. Is that the old alternator or the new alternator? It's the new alternator. Okay. And we tried putting silicone on it? Yeah. I can't imagine that pulley's supposed to be that hot from running that short of a time. Maybe it's, maybe the belt's too tight now. All right, maybe that's the case. Can you get me my, um... So we've been seeing a lot of these Huey helicopters flying around here, and we are right across the street from Malmstrom Air Force Base. And I was confused because it's an Air Force Base, so I'm not used to seeing helicopters at Air Force Bases. Um, apparently, I, of course, I looked it up because I'm me, and uh, apparently the Air Force uses these Huey helicopters as transport between the many Minuteman missile sites, uh, similar to the one that I pointed out to you guys on the video of driving into Great Falls. Uh, I just found that interesting, so I thought I would share that. Here we have another one here going in. Again, they're uh, Bell, UH-1, and uh, Huey helicopters, and the Air Force uses them primarily for transport between the missile silos. This is not a good start to the day. <laughs> so, we are sitting outside a muffler shop while we wait for Lincoln's test results because we've got everybody but Lincoln's test results in. Um, everybody's negative, except for we don't know Lincoln yet. And we decided while we're waiting, we would go ahead and get the muffler fixed because the muffler kind of shredded on one side of the RV. So we're going to do that. And then we're set up to go across the Canadian border at 9 p.m. tonight. So hopefully everything goes well there. We're only about an hour and a half away. So it's not any big deal as far as the driving portion, at least we hope. <laughs> um, so we're sitting out here waiting. We're going to get this done and then get on the road. Yeah. We got some burritos and a chicken taco for you. Thank you. 
Chinese? Chinese Chinese, Chinese. Yeah, Chinese. Really wish I had a lock washer. This is the sun. What a button lever. Please. I thought I'd grab the wrench and fit this. What do you need? The a wrench for this nut. Um, go sit down, please. Let's see here. Wrench for this nut. Let's see what I can find. Alright, where'd the wrench go? Seeing you on the video screen. Oh, it fell off. Oh man, then we gotta just re put it back on. I got a kind of like, well, you know, it's like there's metal holding my back straight too. So there's that. What color is that? What color is that? Andy. Um, no, what color is that? Uh, Andy. No, that one. Blue. What color is that? Um, red. No, that's red. What color is that? Um, What's that one? Um, green. Somebody's cheating. I want to do that one. What color is that? Clear. Yeah. I'm rigging my flashlight. That's, is that your favorite color? Clear? Yeah, watch this. The hey, Mama can't watch right now, baby. Hey, back up. Go watch your movie, guys. People, go sit on the couch. Rylan, go on the couch. The freaking thing hurts. I know. That's why I couldn't get it. I I got it in for this far of the trip, and then when I didn't, when it stopped working, because it was draining the power for the lights. Right. Because it's too much pull. That's why I was putting it in its own separate thing. Its own separate uh, accessory port. See, the problem is that one's going to be not strong enough to get in. Yeah. Back up. Oh, I'm going to attach that thing. How about we do this? So, I love you too. Okay. I love you too. Yep, yep. I took one of these and connected it to the black wire in here and shoved it in the hole. Lincoln has been trying to do this for how long? A couple hours I've been trying to work around that doghouse. Well, I had it all the way from Missouri to here. But what did we realize came off to get in there? She's still trying to make up for the car not in park. She's a good thing. Well, she does because she's still trying to make up for the fact that we were stuck on the side of the road in a precarious position because she left the RV in drive. Oh, okay. 
So she's gonna be doing that now until forever. Kids, say good job, mama. Good job, mama. Mama. Kara, just put it down. The TV's over. All right, so we're all set. We see our blue lights on that charger right there when we turn the ignition on. Yeah. You got it. Blue lights. lights. Turns on the, there we go. And along with my negative COVID test, as soon as wonderful Dave gets the muffler on, we'll be on our way to Canada. Yep. This is what we do at almost three o'clock in the morning and we're all dead tired and we finally get through Canada. We sit and play in the middle of the highway. This is such a wonderful example for our children. They can't see us, they're asleep. They're all making maple syrup. Whoa. And drinking Tim Hortons. You would love some Tim Hortons right now. And playing hockey. Who's Tim Did you Hortons? see the first town we pulled to? Was that a so town? Funny. That was so funny because it's like this little tiny town. And what does it say? It said like, Warden School of Hockey. I'm like, did they just needed to remind you you're in Canada. <laughs> we're, we're walking around for 10 minutes because we're all like crashing and we've got a whole 27 miles to our campsite for the night, but none of us can keep our eyes open. <laughs> We're like, we don't want to crash, and there's tons of wind, and I'm getting blown all over the place. And then she's like, take over for Greg. I'm like, I can only drive one vehicle. <laughs> the reason, bit, because he's scarecrow. That would be good for you to... <laughs> That's not the same. That's not how that works. Scarecrow is, I have too much input, and I miss something. This isn't that. This is not enough input. Not <laughs> right here. Oh, so just so you guys know, we replaced the muffler on the RV along with the carburetor because um, we shredded it. Hey, wave down the next car and tell them to come listen to our RV. <laughs> There's no car.